Welcome back to We Never Learned the Rules, a D&D actual play podcast that isn't doing D&D this time around. <laughs> uh, this is a special Halloween one shot where we're going to play Call of Cthulhu using the Pulp Cthulhu rules. For those of you who don't know anything about Call of Cthulhu, this game is played using a D100 system where you roll a D10 and a D percentile dice to determine the outcome of everything instead of using a D20. The lower the roll, the better the outcome. We are joined by our two players, Evan and Anna Johnson. Uh, Evan, why don't you give me a brief description of your character? Uh, Okay, I play Ronnie McMurray. He is... Um, kind of a strange dude obsessed with he's a photojournalist who got into the field because his obsession with strange happenings in the world and it's just kind of like his job is like his way in to like be normal taking pictures of stuff and traveling all right Anna how about you so I play Beatrix Carnahan but she goes by Trixie and she is a headstrong investigative journalist um, from humble beginnings on a farm in Valentine, Nebraska, but now lives in New York, New York, and is always looking for the next big story. And without further ado, we are going to begin. For the past few months, an aurora borealis has appeared at random times throughout Michigan. Researchers are baffled as to why it has appeared, drawing people from many different fields to the state in order to investigate this bizarre phenomenon. Trixie? Ronnie? You two aren't any different. You might not be researchers, but the news has gained particular interest in this weird phenomenon, and you have been sent by your respective news agencies to cover it. You have, in particular, been drawn to what appears to be the epicenter of the Aurora. It is a small town called Pulaski Creek, located 50 miles from Lake Michigan. It is the type of small town that typically goes ignored by most of the world, with a small population and not much else to offer tourists except a sense of calm and quiet in an otherwise dying town. We open up with you, Ronnie, driving down the interstate. You've been in your van for about two days straight now, and there are food wrappers and the remnants of half-eaten junk food lying around everywhere. You reach into your bag and pull out a cassette tape, one of the mementos of a previous radio show that you used to host at 3 o'clock in the morning. Popping the tape open, you slide it into the car and press play. I'm coming to you today with a really... All right. The most important show out there, Ronnie on the clock. Right. <laughs> yeah. The big expose this week is a clock oh, really nice. And I have with me a special mm-hmm. guest, mm-hmm. ex employee wow. from Blockbuster. So Here true. We go. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sally. Mm. I work for Blockbuster for five years. Your burner phone starts to ring in the Ziploc bag covered in tin foil. I real quick. <laughs> You can see right on the little uh, screen, it says, Fred, boss, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I was going to do that bit. <laughs> okay, so I flip it all in. Oh, hey, Fred. Hey, Ronnie, I have to, I have to admit this, uh, this emailing me your new phone number every few weeks, it's starting to get real tiresome. Wait, so if it's modern era, you have a flip phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, here's the thing. Yeah, I feel like he might be sort of like behind the times with technology. So, yeah. I, d- I don't want a fucking phone that tracks me. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. He you only keep your phone in a uses... Ziploc bag with a <laughs> yeah. tin foil wrapped around it. Uh-huh. Exactly. And then exclusively, or Ronnie exclusively uses burner phones. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he has to like email his boss his new phone number like... <laughs> <laughs> Every two weeks when it uh-huh. gets a new burner. Yeah. Whatever. Are, are you almost at Pulaski Creek? We're, we're, we're going to need that footage tomorrow. I want to make sure you get there. No more sidetracking at, like, the uh, stupid little roadside attractions. I, 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 I swear, Ronnie, that ball of twine was not trying to mind control people. I mean, I don't know. I thought I saw it. 
strange behavior outside, so it was worth capturing. Yeah, it's a roadside attraction. There's strange weirdos all the time. Well, there. okay, I mean, sure, no balls of twine. You got it. Okay, just look. Just keep this in mind, Ronnie. You are representing KSU 24, so try to try to be on your best behavior. Put your best foot forward for the company. As a news agency, we really cannot deal with another lawsuit over your weirdness. Sure. Yep, no problem. Okay. I will stop doing weird stuff. I won't do any repeats, I promise. Do you promise? No more repeats. Do you pinky swear? I... Sure, yep, and I'm like <laughs> crossing my finger as I say it, <laughs> just to get him. <laughs> okay. All right, so you are staying. We, we've already called ahead. We have a spot for you at the Woodland Inn. I, it's the only inn in town, apparently, that we were able to find. Um, it's under your name, so you should all be set. Dude, we've been over this. Ronnie, we're not going to give you that level of accommodation. Ugh. <sighs> Just give them a different name. Whatever. It's cool. Thank thank you for the accommodations. I mean, we can call ahead and cancel it. And you can sleep in your van again if you like. It's fine. It's really okay. You know, just my life's at risk now, but it's fine. You know, you don't know who's out there. People know that I know things, but... Okay, no, I'm... Let me backtrack. I've gone off on a tangent. I've been driving a little while. I am so sorry for my behavior. I, I really appreciate that, Ronnie. I, I just, I'm trusting you. This is this is your last chance. Get us those pictures. Get us the footage of the aurora, and it will all be good. Just make sure you're ready tonight to capture it. You know, no problem. I can. I'm just outside town. I can see it from here. Yeah, well, and I'll, as you as you're driving, you pass a kind of pretty weathered sign. It's it's done in wood, not like the typical road sign with the metal and the mm-hmm. green. Um, it's painted Palasi Creek, pop population 300. Ooh, very small. Yeah, it's a very small town. And as you pass in, the road becomes noticeably not as good as the highway you just pulled off of. Okay. So it's more bumpy. Uh-huh. But this is your ty- kind of area. You, you get the feeling there's not a lot of people out here. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of eyes on you. So no one to with. embarrass. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ronnie, you still there? Yeah. You just kind of trailed off there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let you go. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. All yeah. right. See you, Frank. Bye. Fred. 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 No, I did. I said Frank just to spite him. <laughs> I closed my split phone immediately. <laughs> You toss it right out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Mutter, what an asshole. <laughs> so. so you drive through town, and it is not a great-looking place. It, none of the buildings quite match in terms of architecture. They all look like they've seen some years. Mm-hmm. Is anyone else picturing Twin Peaks? It's not a unfair comparison. Okay. Um, this town is very small, located in the middle of a woods, and I want to go find the best pine town. <laughs> <laughs> As you're driving by, you do see a diner. Okay. Do you feel like the owls are always watching you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, the main street is kind of the only one in town. You, mm-hmm. you see the sheriff's office, the... Uh, the few um, businesses that are there, and there is a diner right on one side called uh, the Resolute Diner. Mm-hmm. And right at the end of Main Street is the Woodland Inn. Okay. It looks like it might have been two or three businesses beforehand, maybe once a uh, Red Roof Inn, and Maybe another sign you haven't quite seen. It's like those pizza huts that all went out of business and okay. then like became like dentist offices. Uh-huh. But they still very much look like a pizza hut. On the <laughs> you can still smell the crust inside of it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that. Um, Woodland Inn, it's got two little pines on either side of the sign. And there is only one other car in the parking lot. It is a rental sedan you see from... One of the major companies. It's a lot nicer than the van you've been driving around in. Um, 
And as you get out of your car and walk up to the front door, you see that there is a woman inside speaking to the manager. So as you walk in, Trixie, you are standing at the counter of the Woodland Inn. Uh, I'm sorry, what, what, what were you wanting? Well, my company, and I'll have you know, it's, it's a pretty big company in New York, okay? So that's the sort of thing I'm used to, and I was told there would be a lakeside view. And I went up to my room, and there was no lake. Unless you're considering your parking lot. Are, are you talking about Lake Michigan? Because that's 50 I, miles away. I, I don't know. I just... We can I give was, you directions. I, I, I hear there's a good land tour over there. No, 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 no. I, I'm staying here because I have a story here. What I'm saying is that when I look out my window, I see your gravel parking lot and there's no lake. And I was told I would have a lake view. Well, there's there's that big puddle out there. That's kind of a lake. Don't get smart with me. You think you can walk all over me just because I'm a woman? What? <sighs> Honestly. I, I can refund your room if you'd like, miss. No, no, no. I, I have to stay here unless you know of another town, uh, another inn in this town that has a lake view. No, no, we're the only one. I don't think there's a lake in town. I've never seen one. I've lived here my whole life. I've never seen a lake. <sighs> absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Do you, do you want f a free internet comp? I mean, I yeah. guess we could do that for you. Yes, okay. that would be nice. Okay, room three, free internet. Yeah, the password is, and he looks at you. Oh, so can you cover your ears? This, this is a, the internet's an extra charge and you can't have the password unless you're paying <laughs> for it. I'm just going to stare at him and not do anything. Uh, you're, could you... Oh, oh, okay. And he leans <laughs> close to you. Come here. And he whispers in your ear, the password is, there's no lake. I'd like to do... <laughs> oh my god, that's... <laughs> I like to lip read him. <laughs> uh, roll. Is there a lip reading? I do call have a lip reading. Yep. Yeah, roll it. <laughs> um, are there any capitals or spaces? Underscores between each word. Okay. Or that was... That was his work. It's one of my... Oh, wait, where? I thought I chose lip reading as one of my things, but it's no longer on here. Um, so every skill has a base level of percentage on it. Uh, it should say a percentage next to lip reading anyway. I don't even see lip reading anymore. Oh, read lips. There it is. Ah, just kidding. Okay. 80% okay, is the big number. Okay, I was like, 80% is a huge number. So go ahead and roll. Okay, so here at We Never Learned the Rules, surprisingly, we actually do kind of know the rules for Call of Cthulhu. Not me. Um, yeah, <laughs> they don't. I do. Um, not the chase rules. We only partially know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is roll a percentile dice, which is a D10 and a D100. The D100, the D, uh, sorry, the percentile dice is your larger number. And the tens dice will serve as the secondary number in the hundreds. Go ahead and roll. You were looking to roll under the number in your stat. 83. No. <laughs> you do fail. Damn because it. this was a pretty easy roll, but you still roll over your percentage there. Probably because he was whispering it right in my ear. You probably he, had a hard got, time of looking at the lips. The owner of this establishment seems to have a giant mustache that <laughs> Makes it real hard to read his lip. It got looks it. like just a giant caterpillar. Nice. Yep. Beautiful. Okay, so you've got internet now, and is there anything else I can help you with, Miss... Miss... Oh, what was your name? And he shuffles papers. What's your last name? Carnahan. Okay, Miss Carnahan. Are, are, are you good? Is there anything else I can help you with? That old <laughs> Jeff can help you with? Well, Jeff... And there's um, a big name tag that says <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Uh, Jeff, no, thank you. Um, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so short with you before. I just, it was a long drive from New York and... You drove from New York? You didn't fly? No, no. I, there were a few things I wanted to check in on on the way out. You know, I, I, I am an investigative journalist, you know, so... Yeah, you've said that three times so far. Yes, I remember. Well, um, what you may not know about investigative journalists... 
is that sometimes they have to find their own stories um, and sometimes those are the most interesting. So I stopped off in a few places on the way out and I'm just a bit tired and I was really looking forward to a lake view, um, but it's fine. This internet will be fine. I can, you know, I can Google an image of the lake and that will be fine. Thank you. And I'm just going to like turn before he can say anything else. As you turn, you almost trip over a large tacky statue of a ghost that's decorating the office. There are a few Halloween decorations that are up. Um, it is fall and it's just, it's actually Halloween tonight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Watch out for little Jeff there. He's he's a little spooky guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Great, great decorations. Really livens the place up. It, it does look like he just went to uh, the nearest Walmart and bought a bunch of fall and Halloween directions that decorations that you would find in an elementary school classroom. <laughs> nice. Um, quick question. Would I know that like that we are to like work together or do I like know the person that I'm like supposed to photo journal with I think you've probably been to a few stories where you'll recognize each other so Trixie as you turn you recognize Ronnie standing behind you hey Trixie oh hi Ronnie so you're on this story again with me yep Mm -hmm. yep you're here on this story with me yeah yeah how was your how was your drive from Duluth Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I hear that. I listen to tapes the whole time. Oh. Uh huh. Cool. Just my stuff, you know, the really good stuff. Right. Um, From like back a couple, like a couple decades ago, you know, Mm. just like getting back to my roots, you know, like find out what really matters, you know, what? That's. It's like, thank God Blockbuster's gone. Like, that was a real. Yeah. Did Did you see the expose I did on that? I, you know, I must have missed it, but I, I have to say the convenience of streaming services is pretty great. Is that what uh, it was don't about? Don't even get me started on Netflix. Or, sorry, maybe not. Don't get me started on Nawflox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Web picks. <laughs> um... Oh, oh, I, I, so that's... You must know, right, like, what they're up to. I mean, I think it's kind of ridiculous they, like, upped the monthly charge. Is that what you're talking about? You don't think about... You haven't thought about what maybe that charge is for, even though the service is the same, you know? No, it it had not occurred to me. You should listen to my radio show. It happened every Wednesday night at 4 a.m. Solid stuff. Does it... Can I even hear that in New York, or... Why wouldn't you... I mean, yeah, I put... It's on... The podcasts are out there and stuff. You have to put a lot of tags, because for whatever reason, like, it doesn't pop up immediately when you search the exact same thing, exact oh, name of it. Oh, okay. It's a podcast now. I, I know that you used to only do radio. I've been uploading them, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, cool. The good ones. Yeah. I, I'll i have to check it out sometime. They're all good. <laughs> but yeah, um... I mean, yeah, I don't know. You're usually up to some stuff. You need, like, some someone to take photos for you or something. And the guy speaks up. Are, are you two a couple? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Because you're real cute together. <sighs> what was the guy's name again? Jeff. Jeffrey. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call him Jeffrey, though, because that's what his yep. name tag says. Okay, old Jeff. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey... Jeffrey, that's that's sweet. But hey, now, I, I was just saying, I was just saying, no need to bite my head off. I sort of like just give like an up and down look. At he's got a kind of a pot belly. He's wearing a polo shirt that has seen better days tucked into a pair of cargo pants uh, with a big belt that's about it's got a large overhang of extra belt that <laughs> hangs down. And he's wearing Crocs. Oh, no. Old Jeff. Um, <laughs> he is slightly balding, and one eye is slightly lazy. Um, With a giant mustache. <laughs> right. That looks like a caterpillar. Mm, Jeffrey. Uh, no, no. Um, no. 
just no. Please, please don't make that mistake again. It's fine, but but no. I um, was just saying. Me and Mr. McMurray here are just we're we're colleagues. Um, occasionally, are. Oh, what what do you, what do the two of you do? Sounds like you've worked together before. Yeah, we um well we 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 work for two different um news stations, and sometimes they collaborate on big stories and. Uh, he, M- McMurray here is better with the camera and I'm better with the words and the people and so they team us up sometimes and there's just been some strange things going on around here um, we've heard there's been some Aurora Borealis type things happening I don't know if you've noticed or heard about it but he shakes his head no 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 I, I haven't seen anything hmm um, can I tell if he's lying Roll a. I need a character shot in front of me. <laughs> Insight. <laughs> I don't know. That's Dungeons and Dragons, not Call of Cthulhu. All right, I should look at the Pulp Cthulhu one, not the regular. If this is a part where we don't know the rules. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make me a psychology roll. What are, what's the number you're trying to beat? So, psychology is thirty-five, and I think I got a two. Zero, zero for the double digit and then two. That is a two. That yeah. is an extreme success. Yeah. What were you trying to determine? If he was, it seemed like he was maybe lying about okay, seeing yeah, the lights. Yeah. So he's most definitely lying. In fact, he looks incredibly nervous and he's kind of looking out the window, just kind of looking around, glancing at you. Very suspicious. Is he like looking somewhere else? He's looking around, maybe to anywhere s- like specific, or is he just almost eye like contact? he's looking to see if anybody's watching? Oh, I'm like Jeff. Uh, why are you being weird? I'm weird. Who, who's who's being weird? No, uh, no, 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 nothing weird here. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Would you like free internet too? Uh, yeah, no. There's no lights in the sky. There's no nothing. Never, never been any lights in the sky. We're we're all we're all good here. We're all friends. Hey, so, I mean, I'm just catching up with an old friend. Um, it looks like, you know, what, when's your shift over? Maybe you could join us, have a drink or something. We could just oh, chit-chat. No, I'm, I'm the only one who works here. There's, 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 there's... You don't there's, have to go get food? You want no dinner or something? And, and I'm just, like, glaring at... Um, I call you by your last name, by the way, so I'm just glaring at McMurray. Just like, the fuck, dude? Like... I don't want to have dinner with this weirdo. Like, yeah, I'm gonna like make eyes at you, like. And I'm gonna make eyes right back, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what are you doing? All right. One cool. of the. If uh, you change your mind. A witch decoration next to the door. You like step in front of it, and it activates the motion sensor, and it goes. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I, I've got something I need to go do in the back. I'm just gonna. I'll, I'm gonna. I'm going to go back here. Um, I, okay, Jeffrey. I need a key Sorry. still, friend. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, who are you? Um, Ronnie McMurray. Ronnie, Ronnie. And he starts shuffling papers. And you know there's only one other car in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roll my eyes like, for real? Um, um, oh, yes. Yeah, Ronnie McMurray. Yes, there you are. Um, all expenses paid. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here's your key. He just slaps it down and runs into the back. The guy knows something. You want to get on, get in on the story? Just, let's. We got to go back there. What are you talking about? He's just a weird hotel manager. I need to go upstairs, his, take a shower, and wash the road off. His let's, eyes seemed like they were darting around, like someone was watching him. Oh my gosh, you really are crazy. No. <laughs> You know, I trust the, me. The only reason why I agree to continue working with you is because your photographs are so damn good. If you weren't so good at this, I would refuse to work with you. You're crazy. You know what? I I, I really can't do this with you right now. You do what you need to do. I'm gonna go upstairs, take a quick shower, wash the road off, and then why don't we go hit up that diner for lo- for lunch? What time of day is it? It's mid afternoon. Okay, for for an early dinner in like half an hour. Okay. Sound good? Let me do you one better. Come with me, check this guy out, and I'll pay for your dinner. <sighs> Fine. That's what's up. But I'm really hungry. <laughs> okay, well, 
Don't nope. worry, this should just take a minute. You No, all I'm saying is, it's not going to be a cheap bill, so... Okay, sure, whatever. Anything, you know? To and get, I like, want dessert. Anything to get, like, someone's... For whatever reason, someone... A lot of people don't think I have a great opinion of stuff, but people, they trust you. If you were with me and saw some sketchy shit, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, um... At least you recognize that you're not terribly reliable. I, I'm I'm super reliable. People are just stupid. But okay, <laughs> sure, sure, it's fine. What I already agreed. Here's what I think we should do: cause it all cause a distraction, and why don't you go in there, see what he would like, see if you can find anything in his office. What am I looking for? I don't know. Anything suspicious having to do with these lights? He's he obviously also... knows. Okay. They happen every okay. night. Sure. I, I will take a look at his ledgers and his key cards. Like, look for, like, you know, try books on a bookshelf if there's anything like that. Or you must, like, you know how to find secret things, right? It must Check be exhausting to open, be so paranoid. Open locked doors, you know? Something like that. Okay, okay, sure, try sure, Try to sure, find sure. some keys. Anything. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm waiting for your distraction. Good point. Yep. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> do I have to do everything? So, the just to give you a sense of the area, you are in kind of a long room that's split by a divider um, that's half open, providing kind of like a desk and a separator mm-hmm. from the general public. The There's a taller, almost bar stool type chair next to a really old Pentium computer. And one of those that are still tan and generally become yellower as they age with a flickering CRT monitor that you can hear the tu- uh, the hum of back deep in your teeth. Um, there's a small door that uh, Jeff closed as he left the room. You ascertain it's probably like an office or something like that. And his ledger sits uh, next to the computer. Um, There's no cameras or anything you can see. What do you like to do? Okay. Well, um, I'm thinking maybe I'll start a fire. I think maybe not that. (laughs) He would be so focused on it, though. We won't. Oh, my gosh. No. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, no. Go up to go up to your room. Okay, I'm going to go around, you know, go around out to my car so I can sort of watch. You, you need to go up to the room. You need to do something. Clog the toilet. I don't know. Something up in your room. And then okay. you need to come down and ask him to help you with it, to get him away from here. Got it. Okay, right. I'll do exactly that. Okay. And um, how about this? You text me when he's coming back down. What's your number? Do I, do I have another phone on me? Uh, I would assume, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I pull out a phone in a new package, <laughs> and I tear it open, and I turn it on, and I'm like, just give me a sec, and I'll get you my number. And I'm just, like, looking at you, like, the like what the actual fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> yeah, so just, just a quick note um, in terms of Call of Cthulhu. Uh, the game isn't so concerned with, like, in- equipment lists or stuff like that, except for, like, if maybe a few crucial items that you end up finding. If it sounds like something that's reasonable for your character to have, mm-hmm. I'm pretty okay with you just having it. Okay, sweet. So yeah, in my bag, I just have a bunch of cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all still in the packages? Uh-huh. They're all... <laughs> yeah. Well, once you turn it on, you know, who knows what could happen. But, okay, so I turn it on, and then and then I give you my new cell phone number. I program it in. <laughs> <and> McMurray. <laughs> I am. I don't say anything about you programming it, even though I'll probably throw it away next time you call me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Okay. 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 Sweet. So you give me the heads up when he's coming back down. I don't want to get caught back there. I've, my job would be on the line, and I, I am fast tracked for for the top. Okay. I'm gonna own that place. This is the type of like risky behavior you should be doing. You're an, you're an investigative journalist. Like. Yeah. Well, you can still investigate things. I'm gonna I, go clog that toilet. <laughs> oh my god okay you just all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna go pretend like i'm looking for something in my car so okay. i can keep an eye can, can i see like through the windows or through the door into yeah okay the two of you exit the uh 
office, and I need you both to make spot hidden rolls for me. This is a medium difficulty. Uh, I definitely do not pass. I keep rolling very high. <laughs> <laughs> what is your spot hidden? 25. What did you roll? 82. 82. Yeah, that's... No. I'm playing D&D and I can't roll anything above a 4. <laughs> We're playing something where a 4 would be great and I can't roll below 80. <laughs> And oh, yeah, the, mine's an 85. Um, so a medium difficulty one, there should be two boxes next to it. One will be like half that number and the other yeah. will be like a quarter. You uh-huh. want to use the one that's half of your main number. So if it's 85, so it's 42. Yep, that is the number to beat. That is a medium difficulty roll. So I want under 42. That is correct. 12. Uh, yeah, that's a success. As you walk out of the office... You look into the woods that are across from the, uh, what is it, the Woodland Inn, um, and almost framed perfectly by trees is a figure in a black robe just staring at you, maybe 50 feet back into the woods, but you spot it immediately as you step out. Do you see that? I'm not with you. I'm going up to my room. Right. Oh, right. I guess that I is. imagine you both walk out at the same time. So because like, you're, like right next to her, oh, okay. you have to go like, yep. yeah. Oh, okay. Out. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. It's an, it's a small motel. It's not like a, okay. Yeah. I figured. Yeah. Okay. I just picturing it differently. Cool. Do you see that? Oh, uh, what? And a semi truck barrels past. And as it goes away, there's a bunch of kids in Halloween costumes, a ghost, a witch and a dementor and the figure's gone. Um, I, I don't know. Actually, maybe I'm just tired and my eyes were playing tricks on me. Never mind. Okay, I I'm, just, I'm the crazy one, but whatever. Okay. I just glare at him. <laughs> just go clog your toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go to my trunk and pretend like I'm rummaging around in it, just like watching the like office door to see when Jeff is going to come out. Okay. How are you clogging the toilet, Ronnie? <laughs> Roll for so clogged toilet. What, what's in the room? Uh, you step into the room. It is a very... Okay, so this motel has experienced a few renovations over the years. It, it looks like it was probably made in the 50s. Mm-hmm. So it's got like the push style lights, you know, where uh, it's little buttons instead of switches. Um, those are extremely yellowed with age. But the room has maybe like three or four coats of paint that have been put over some of its peeling and you can see like under the gray that's this room is currently painted it used to be red and blue and a uh, white um there is a very tacky painting hanging on just above the bed it you know it, going into a grandparent's house like everyone has a printing of some really dumb woodland scene or something like a deer <laughs> yeah, okay. and a river. Um, it's just like that. And the bed is furnished um, in a very old comforter. Looks scratchy. Looks like it's been washed and rewashed. It's a little threadbare. Pillows are ever so slightly stained. And there's a small bathroom that's not... There, there's no like separate bathroom. It's just a part of the room itself. Is there like a shower? Yes, but it's just a tub in the corner of the room with a shower curtain. Could the shower curtain reach the toilet, theoretically? Yeah, um, so it's a shower curtain rod, but it looks like to get the shower curtain rod to stand up, he's jammed it against one side of the wall and built like a contraption of two by fours to provide bracing for it because it kind of sits against the far wall and otherwise would have no other reason. So you could just pull that off the wall and like put it so on the I'm, toilet. Here's the lie I'm going to try to tell is that the um, shower curtain got caught in the toilet <laughs> and pulled it in. <laughs> when you flush? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, I'm not even going to make you roll for it. You take the shower curtain and put it in the toilet and flush and immediately like (laughs) it starts overflowing onto the floor and the shag carpeting which isn't so much shag carpeting anymore as it is it's it's grown into clumps (laughs) oh god (laughs) it's so old um, but even the bathroom part of the room is carpeted yeah 
So the <laughs> carpet starts to get real wet and soggy. Sweet. And I'm just going to stand there for like maybe 20 seconds, just to let it get worse. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll take a quick glance at my watch and go, all right. And I'll head down. And I'll okay. be like, Jeff, as soon as like I'll step out the door, I'll like fancy up, you know, straighten my clothes. What are you wearing? That's what I want to know. I'm wearing like a just like a suit and tie, but like disheveled, like the it's kind of dirty. Mm-hmm. The tie is not like all the way up, you know, like my like the white shirt underneath has like mustard stains on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Generally like greasy hair, not well like put together. Okay. And you step out and shout Jeff, is that correct? Yeah, so I'm gonna like situate myself and then like take a deep breath. And then, like, turn it on, you know, and be like, oh, no, Jeff, <laughs> something <laughs> terrible has happened. Um, and start running down towards the office. Yeah, you go down, uh, you run past Trixie, who's still fiddling around in her trunk, and bursting into the office, you just start shouting. Yeah. Jeff, quick, Jeff, something terrible has happened. My room, it's being ruined. The, do- the door slams open. What's wrong with the room? The No refunds. Okay, sure. <laughs> the, I, I'd like to not have my room filled with water, though. Can you deal with it, please? Did it, the shower curtain get caught in the toilet? <laughs> it did! <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, no. One second. And he uh, goes back into his office, and he comes back holding a... Uh, you know, those, like, um, little... Not, not a carton. A little container of... He's, he's holding two buckets of cleaning supplies and a mop over his shoulder. <laughs> a mop for the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> well, this happens often. Yeah, he does. He's going to mop the carpet. <laughs> okay, come on. Let, let, let's, get, let's take care of this. We don't want it seeping through okay, the go, floor I'll, beneath. I'll, I'll follow you. Go. Yeah, and both of you run out of the office, and he leaves the door to the office open. Um, Trixie, you see them run by. I want to just, like, say that, like, as he's in, I'm going to kind of, like, stand in the doorway and watch him so that I'm, like, a physical block. Yep. Just in case he tries to get back. Sounds good. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to, like, slyly watch as they, like, run by and then just close my trunk. Okay. You know, look around and um, walk briskly but like with my good posture and everything just walk into the office and uh and and stealth into the uh okay go ahead and roll me because we never learned the rules um <laughs> there, is a stealth. St- there is a stealth yeah there is a stealth roll me stealth okay my stealth is really good too i'm gonna put my bookmark to the character sheets it's gonna be a uh, 42 again that i need to be Okay, is this the is this a typical meme? roll? It's not. It's not a. It's just a regular roll. It, sorry. Is forty two your main statistic there, or is oh, it, it's a regular. Oh, I see. Uh, unless I call for a medium or hard roll. Oh. Um. Just assume it's the regular. Uh, the, which is just the, the big, big number. Oh, then yep. I have to be eighty five. I was like, that's not. That's not particularly great. It's pretty good, right? Actually, no, yeah. that's pretty good typically for Call of Cthulhu. Um, because we are playing Pulp Cthulhu, they do have bigger statistics in this than normal, mostly because there's just two of them, and this scenario might be deadly for just two normal investigators. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and roll. Cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a 99. <laughs> oh, you are one away from terribleness. Okay, 99 is a... It's about as close as you can get to a critical failure without it being a critical failure. (laughs) Um, So as you try to... Describe to me what you're trying to do and how you're getting into the room. I mean, so he left the door open. He did leave the door open. Um, There's... One of those little flip up things that's part way through the opening desk that lets you get into the back little area. And he didn't leave that open. And then there's the door behind it. So you run in and you try to lift that up, but your grip fails and it drops and it slam right back down. Oh shit. <laughs> and uh, in it, back in the room, you realize just how thin these walls are, <laughs> Ronnie, <laughs> as you just hear a slam. And Jeff looks up. 
What was that? Oh, I almost turned into Brawlu there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I just what, saw. What, I, I, what was that? That sounds. That sounded like the uh, the 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 my little gate thing. Oh, I better go check on that. No, so I'm in the way and I block. Yep. I'm like, no, I just saw someone close the dumpster lid. Don't worry about it. Oh, the dumpster's out back. Typically, we can't hear that. Um, I, I should probably. I should probably go check. Dude, um, look at it. And it's like, is it still like? He's gonna roll. What about my room? <laughs> um, I need somewhere to sleep. <laughs> we, 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 we can get you a different room. I like this room. Look at that beautiful painting. They all I, have that painting. Oh, they don't? They all have that painting. Oh, they all do. Oh. But I like that one. How much is it? I'd like to buy it. 50 bucks? Yeah, I mean... Okay, you've distracted him sufficiently. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... You're, you're looking through, you see the ledger. Um, there are a few names in there, like uh, Jim Martin and Sarah Drexler and Susan O'Connell, but they were all from a few months ago. So it looks like no one has been here in a few months, like, except for us now? Yeah. Okay, um... Does he... Can I, like, look through the drawers and see... You try to open the drawers, but they are locked. I'd like to try to pick one of the locks. Roll lock picking. Hard. Okay. So What's that's your... the smallest number. I'm trying to find... It's not great. It's not like you. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna try. I mean, I'm there. Yeah. Um... Where is it? Oh, locksmith, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> oh, no. So what do I have to roll? A one? 100. Uh, no, you need to roll a one, which is zero, zero, zero. All zero. No, sorry, that's 100. You need to roll zeros, uh, zero, 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 and one. Yeah. Double zeros. Well. There's a chance. There's Double a zeros chance. is 100. Nope, that's a 29. <laughs> Uh, you you can't get in, and Jeff is finishing up unclogging the toilet, and you have a new painting for 50 bucks. <laughs> awesome. Great. Um, sweet, Jeff. <sighs> you just worked a lot. Can I buy you a pie or something, like, from the diner? Yeah, I, 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 I should go get back. Uh, I, I don't like being away from my, my office. I, I don't like... Oh, do you have a lot of guests coming in? What yeah, is it yeah, like this, working this, at a front desk? This, that must this, be crazy. This is the busy time of the year for me, so, you know, I, I just need to be down there in case anybody comes in. I mean, real quick, just before, like, what what can I do while I'm in town? What is this town known well, for? there's the diner, and there's some nature trails. Um, oh, sweet. Do you go on those trails? No, no. No? You're no. not a big fan of nature? Are you, like, a computer guy? I saw your awesome computer in the office. I should go. I, okay, I'm just like, I've been on the road a long time. I'd really appreciate someone to talk to, but it's... Yeah. I'm just kind of like, people find me weird. I'm gonna like, like try to pretend to be sad and like break down. Roll fast talk. <laughs> okay. In the meantime, I just want to be like looking, just like any... Are there any bookshelves? With that role that you had, you're pretty much unable to find anything. Which role? The... 99. Oh, wait, what was that for? That was nine. That was a, uh... Stealth? Yeah. No, sorry, roll me a spot hit. Okay, yeah, yep. I haven't done that yet. I, I failed, so... You failed? Uh-huh. I, I I really need to get back. I, I, I'm i sorry. He's tra he's gonna edge past you. Okay. Um, we didn't come up with a signal. I'm gonna go, coo -coo! as he leaves. <laughs> he looks you, what? What, 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 what was that? In the spirit of Halloween, I just wanted to spook you. <laughs> Hilarious. Coo -coo! People are coming. As I scream and try to like act <laughs> as scary as I can. Roll fast talk. <laughs> so is it normal spot hidden? Medium. Fast talk again. No, failing. <laughs> so hard. He's looking at you really suspiciously and he starts walking away. Down. I'm just like trying to alert. Yeah. Okay. I fail. 
you fail and you also don't hear any noise from the cacao. Oh, no. Um, you're looking around, you see a bookshelf, and it is full of National Geographic magazines from the past, looks like 60 years or so. Hmm. Um, they get increasingly more difficult to open as they get older, um, just kind of crinkled and stuck together. Mm-hmm. Um, what, 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 what guests aren't allowed behind the counter? And you look over, and Jeff's in the room, and he looks a little wide-eyed and nervous. I, can you, you, please, please leave. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I just, I had a question about my room, and and I, I thought maybe you were back ooh, here, ooh, and then I got distracted by ooh, these great magazines. I, 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 I've already given you the f- the f- f- free internet. You, there's nothing as is. The room is as is. Okay, I, I was just curious, you know, I'm staying a few nights, so just curious when the, when the turndown service is. That's all I was going to ask, just to make sure that I'm not... Oh, well, we're not one of those fa- fancy hotels up in up in the city. We're, we're just a little motel. There's, th- 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 there's no turndown service. Really? I, I, I have to use the I, same I, towels and all he, week. He looks I, like he's getting overwhelmed, and he just walks into the office and locks himself in. Oh, okay. Well... Th- Thanks, Jeffrey. No and response. I'm, I'm just gonna turn and, and walk out. I'm just gonna wait by your. I'm out there waiting by your car. But did he fix the toilet? Uh, it's still going. It's it's been fixed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, <laughs> gonna remember. Um, I'm gonna walk out and see you. What the hell? I didn't get a single text from you. He just caught me in there. That could have oh, been my right. job. The text. <laughs> That's right. Uh, what sorry. the hell? What were you doing? I was trying to buy you more time. You didn't hear my caca? No. You didn't hear me scream, someone's coming? No. Yikes. I rolled really poorly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Cell phones, you know, anyone can see what you're texting, so... Yeah, including the person who you're texting. A very important message. Listen, I think there's like... It's fine. It's fine. I, I handled it. I, I, I think it's fine. He's he's a little upset. Um, By the way, do you know there's no turndown service here? Ugh. And I just like glare at you in my like nasty suit. <laughs> like I care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds bad. Don't patronize me. All right, you know what? This was fruitless. I found nothing. He has some locked drawers, but I couldn't get them open. All right, all right. There's got to be something else. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe you can try to sneak in there later. I I, I didn't see anything. He has a lot of National Just, Geographic Were there any, like, magazines? windows in that, into that room or anything that maybe we can slip into it? I mean, there's the main office window that you looked out before. Um, there aren't any... So it's a long room, windows on one side. There's the uh, kind of divided um, little welcoming booth there and the office off to the side. There aren't any windows on these walls, just the one with the door. Okay. The entrance door. No windows to that back room. It's All right. You basically have to enter through the lobby like I did. All right. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's go get some food. Yeah, but... Please, can I go take a shower? Oh, yeah. You want to use this, my room? I mean, it's filled with me. water. <laughs> no, I, I'll use my own. Thank you. Look at me. I'm a mess. And, and what are you wearing? So I'm wearing... Go ahead and describe yourself. I'm wearing a smart, light gray pantsuit. <laughs> um, and it, it's, it is surprisingly unwrinkled for having spent hours and hours driving in a car. Um... And it, it, it honestly looks like, you know, like I just put it on straight off the ironing <laughs> board ready for an interview. But I am a mess. Just give me a second. And I'm going to go up to my room, take a quick shower. And when I come back down, I'm wearing a nearly identical <laughs> pa- gray pantsuit. It's just slightly darker. <laughs> That's so much better. Yep. I feel I... Uh, now, now I'm more put together. <sighs> okay. So you want to go get food now? Yeah, let's yeah. go to the diner. 
the diner is pretty much right next door to the um, inn. It has a big sign called the uh, Resolute Diner, and it's got a logo of a uh, Union soldier with a gun uh, standing there. Okay. Kind of in a badly drawn... It looks like someone let their child draw the logo, and it's just never been changed since. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> and they had it printed in a big 50-foot tall sign. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I love it. Well, I guess this is our I, only I point option. to the sign, and I'm like, looks like it's just up your alley, huh? High class right here. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I, I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Uh, I don't know where you think I like to eat, but... Oh, boy. Okay, let's, let's go in. <laughs> And I sort of straighten my, you know, pull at my my little blazer and straighten myself as I I think my character smokes, right? He was probably taking a smoke break as you were showering. (laughs) (laughs) Just making himself himself smell more gross than his just like permeating body odor. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Yeah, and I I just sort of like, I do not smoke. I'm just going to (laughs) like fan away the, put that thing out. You can't smoke inside. It's not the 90s. So you step inside the diner. It looks unlike the Woodland Inn. This place has never gotten a uh, refurbishment. It has never been renovated or updated. It looks like what a lot of uh, 50s diners today try to be, but it also looks like it's gone through an apocalypse and has never been dusted. (laughs) And there's a woman behind the uh, counter that kind of stretches the whole length of the building with the kitchen divide and a little um, hole to, for the chef to put orders through. She looks up at you. Oh, well, hello there, honeys. What can I get for y'all? Um, table for two. There's table two of us. for two? I'm sorry, we don't serve none of that fancy lettuce here. Oh, no, t- table. Oh, ta- table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, silly old me. I'm such a funny old woman. Okay, just, just pick a seat wherever. Oh, okay, sure. Corner booth. Okay. <laughs> Corner Fine. booth is the best. I got to agree with you there. Yep. So I head over there and I situate myself so I can see the whole place from where I'm sitting. Yep. Uh, you are the only two customers there. Oh. <laughs> well, just in case someone else walks in, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to sit down like not close to him. Corner booths are pretty big and I'm going to put as much distance between me and uh, McMurray as I can. Ruth walks up to you. Menus are right there. Is there anything I can uh, get for you in the meantime? Any drinks? Maybe a, a soda pop or a uh, coffee or maybe some uh, a shake? Uh, black coffee, toast, no butter. All right, then. We don't have any toast, but I can get you the butter. I said no butter. No butter. So, uh... You don't else? have bread? No, no. Shipment's been a little late recently. Um... Okay, like, what do you, what, what's on the menu? I look at the menu. Uh, we've got some, uh, steak and eggs without the eggs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much all we got here at the moment. Uh, the farms have been not sending us the stuff that we would normally be getting. Trying to work on it, but, you know, in these hard times, you what? Know, not everyone can be expected to do everything. Are the farms having trouble growing? I don't this know. I've never, never really looked into it myself. What do you mean by hard times? Nothing really, just, you know. No, I don't. It's difficult for everyone out there right now. So, it, how about those lights? Oh, well, lights are those. You I saw our sign coming in? Is that what drew you into our fine little establishment? The ones in the sky? What, what ones in the sky are those? So... It, she's lying, I assume. <laughs> uh, Can I roll again? Psychology. I knew everyone was in on it. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's see. What's my psychology? I failed. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get, and what was your roll? Fifty-nine versus thirty-five. I rolled fifty-nine. Yeah, you don't really know if she's lying or not. 
And what can I get for you there, honey? I mean, I I guess I'll also take a black coffee and steak. Good choice, steak and eggs. Out the eggs, got it. Lay her right up for y'all. And she kind of bustles into the back. Is she the only employee here that I can see? Uh, yeah. Okay. What the hell is going on here? This, the guy at the hotel, Mr. Caterpillar Face, he also... Jeffrey. His name's Jeffrey. Sure, whatever. He also pretended like there weren't the lights there. And it's like, this is a national story, and the locals don't know about it. Yeah, How that is they never a little strange. Up? Something's wrong. But what would they gain from pretending like they don't know anything about it? And also, what is she talking about hard times? I think maybe it's not them in control, if you know what I mean. I don't. I definitely don't know what you mean. They obviously have the capacity, they're normal functioning humans, to see the sky, but something is blocking them. Something from seeing. From acknowledging. Let me talk about the brain for a minute, okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Lord, please don't. <laughs> see, the brain can be convinced to see what it wants to and ignore what it doesn't. Uh, can you... Do you have any vodka you these can people, put in that coffee? These people may oh, be hypnotized. Oh, we don't have any alcohol in this town. This is a dry town. What? Oh, God help us. Where's the closest wet town? Oh, about 50 miles away. Oh, my God. We're out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, God. I don't children. think you're going to find a drop of <laughs> alcohol over here. Oh, God. And I'm just going to, like, put my... F- I never my... touch the stuff myself. It's, uh, it's not a healthy habit. The Lord doesn't like it, and neither do I. Didn't... I want to pull out a cigarette in the thing and start lighting it up. You got one of those I can borrow? I always sure. like me a good smoke. Uh, sure. What and brand? I'll, I'll, marble. Mar- marbles. <laughs> marbles? Lucky Strike. Yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Lucky str- No. Marlboros. How do you say it? Marlboro. Marlboro. We, none of us. A camel. Smoke, just say camel. Camel. My brand. <laughs> <laughs> so you smoke, but you don't drink. Yeah, sounds about right. You're allowed to smoke inside it, in this town? Are you not allowed to elsewhere? Have you ever left this town? No, can't say I rightly have. Why is that? Are you allowed to leave? Yeah, we're allowed to leave. I just, you know, there's no need for me to leave. I've got my restaurant. I've got my house. It's a pretty nice place. Know my friends here. Uh, I've got no real reason to leave. But You've never now, had the urge to, I don't know, go see, like, go to Greenland and see the Northern Lights? Or nope. anything? Nope. Can't rightly say that I have. Do you know what the Northern Lights are? Yeah, they're like some lights in the sky. Real purdy or something. Uh Uh-huh. You've never seen anything like that. No, yeah, my mommy and my daddy, they came up here uh, back in uh, 52 and, you know, never felt the need to leave since then. Not even for alcohol? No. No, daddy was drunk and uh, I just promised myself and the Lord and she makes a cross. I would never do it. She flicks her blonde hair to the side. Uh, how's that coffee coming? Yep, going right up. She brings out two uh, mugs of coffee and the door rings. And you look over and there is a man, uh, two men, one of them in a sheriff's uniform, the other in a light blue suit with suspenders walking up. The man in the light blue suit has a big smile on his face. <laughs> well, hello there. Welcome to town. My name is uh, Harlan. I am the mayor here. It's not often we get visitors. Oh, we're here for business, not pleasure. Oh, business, business. What brings you here to, you know, Pelosi Creek? We don't often get visitors. Well, um, despite the fact that everyone here that we've talked to doesn't know what we're talking about, it's actually a pretty big story. You guys have some... You know, Aurora Borealis type lights going You're on. You're here and... for the Aurora. Yep. Yep. So you do know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, of course. We've been uh, we've been keeping an eye on that. You know, I'm just going to quick take a picture of this guy. <laughs> um, he, he kind of blinked. Does it have a flash on your camera? It's like a Polaroid. It's giant. And it's, <laughs> it's a super bright flash. Oh, I, ugh, ugh. He's blinking his eyes. The sheriff... Please don't do that again there, son. 
I take one of him. <laughs> Son, don't don't make us have a problem here. No problem. You know, I'm I'm doing this, you know, article faces of the world. You know, I'm a photojournalist. I just wanted to meet people from small towns and stuff. And I think you just had a beautiful face. I apologize for my colleague. Uh, he yeah, beautifulness of my face aside. Uh, what are you folks doing here? Are you here about the disappearances or for the uh, for the Aurora disappearances? No, no, there aren't any disappearances. You the you literally just asked if we were here for the disappearances. Why would we be here for disappearances yeah, if don't, there weren't? Don't don't, don't any... read anything into what I just said. In fact, oh, I, I think it'd be best for all am. of us that we should just forget it. I don't think so. And I'm going to reach into my purse and pull out my notepad. And Harlan pen. just pats the sheriff on the shoulder. Don't worry about Sheriff Dunhill here. Uh, you know, just welcome to Pelosi Creek. Is there really anything I can help you with? Yeah, you could tell us who's missing. Oh, uh, well, you know, there have been a few disappearances here over down at the uh, at the Robertson and Sons Carpentry. You know, that whole family. They went to the woods. The whole family back. is missing? Yeah, yeah. Robertson and his sons, they, they kind of went missing a few weeks back, but I'm sure they're just, you know, on a hunting trip or something. Okay. Um, did they tell anyone where they were going? No. Nah. When's the last time anyone saw them? Maybe about a week or so ago. Have you and been so, looking so for them? So you're not sure that it's a hunting trip. They've just gone missing and you assume they're out hunting? Yeah, I mean, it's just a small town. We don't really like to keep track of people. Most people live here because they don't want to be a part of the big city where the cell phones are always keeping track of y'all. And I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, I hear that. Wow, but, McMurray yeah, sounds like a great place. Maybe you want to settle down here. Well, we've got some homes opening up. Hey, look at that. I call me as soon as you get some plain toast in. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, there have been some problems with the uh, with the farmers. But what kind of problems? Um, they're just going missing and Dunhill just kind of nudges him. Harlan, you sure you want to be admitting to that to these strange folks? They're fine. They're fine. Don't worry about it. We're all friends here. So have they gone hunting, too? Huh, uh, the sure. farmers, I don't know, maybe hunting, maybe they want to go visit the city. I mean, it's a great time of the year for a vacation. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's right into Halloween. They, I don't know. But you really think that farmers would leave their farms unattended and stop supplying this town with basic things like bread just to go for a Halloween vacation to the city? That sounds a little far-fetched. And maybe I'm like it scribbling. is, maybe it's not. I can't rightly say one way or the other. Um, can you tell me where these farms are? I'd love to photograph it. Yeah, yeah. If you just came into town, you would have passed quite a number of them on the way in. Okay. What about this, um... Um, the, the other people who went hunting? The Robertson family. Yeah. Yeah, Robertsons and Sons. They've got a little place right next to the clinic just over there. All right, sounds like a good place to to check out, I suppose. Um just one other question. Is there really not any alcohol in this town? No, no, no alcohol in this town. We're here because the good Lord made us and if he didn't need alcohol, neither do we. You know Jesus turned water into wine, right? I'm assured he did no such thing. Okay, that's great, great. Thank you, thank you so much, gentlemen, for your help. Yeah, of course, of course. And uh, go ahead and roll me a psychoanalysis. Right? <laughs> okay, I was like, <laughs> these guys are whack. Oh, yikes. Oh, I did not do anything with psychoanalysis. You'll still have a base percentage in there. Okay. It'll say next to it, like 25% yeah. or something. It's a, it's a 1%. 1%? Yeah, you still have a chance. I failed again in the 80s again. <laughs> 30. Okay, failed. Yeah. Neither of you notice anything strange. Okay. I mean, except that everything is strange. So, uh, <laughs> you're here for the Borealis, and, uh, what type of job brings you in there for that? You, some sort of fancy scientist or something? Um, I'm photographing it. Photographing it. Great profession there. What type of camera you got there? Old Kodak? Sure. Yep. 
You don't know what your camera is? I got it at a pawn shop. I mean... <laughs> How are you so good at... Oh, it's infuriating. Sorry. I am an investigative journalist. A journalist, of course. It's just what we need here in this town. <laughs> yeah, don't you say there, Sheriff? And the Sheriff just... Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm only staying for this story, though. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a bit... I'm probably a, a bit too overqualified um, for your town. No offense or anything, but uh, I, I've been scouted um, by the New York Times. Oh, here's your coffee you know. there. Brought it right out. Your steaks are just on the way. Thank you. Well, thanks, Ruth. Thank you. Whatever these fine gentlemen are getting, let's put it put it on my tab. Um, just as a thanks, you know. No, no, we're not getting anything here. We're just here to say hello to the new folks in town. Oh, wow. We're We're, we're kind of a welcoming committee. Well, I mean... All right. Well, I appreciate it, you know. Yeah, yeah. If you need any help with anything, don't be afraid to ask Mayor Harlan. That's me, Mayor Harlan. What about... Can't forget that name. What about you, Mr... Um, Dunhill? Dunhill? No, the police officer? Yeah, the sheriff is Dunhill. Okay, yeah. Um, Can I... What's your number? Can you know, just in case there's an emergency, do you guys have nine one one? He just stares at you and Harlan. Yeah, of course we got nine one one. Dunhill here. He'll uh, him and his boys. They'll be out to answer any nine one one calls. But there's never been any problem in this town before, except the last murder eighty years ago, yeah. or the people missing. Right? Oh, I'm sure they're fine. Are you are you looking for them? Maybe even just calling their families or? No, no, they're all fine. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with them. What would it take for you to be convinced maybe everything isn't okay? You seem kind of like, I mean, I, I'm i not for being an alarmist, but you seem sort of like a little too non-alarmist. I, I guess I don't rightly know what you're saying there. Alarmist, non-alarmist, I, they're all fine. People, you know, they'll go out for a few weeks at a time and they'll show up just fine. Okay, well, um... You know, we're we're here for the next few days, uh, trying to figure out. Just great, just great. I'm sure you'll love Pelosi Creek. We've got a we've got the creek out there in the woods for you to look at, and it's a great time to get away from work and the stress of life and everything. Yeah, all the people missing. That's really st- the fewer people here to stress you out. Exactly, son. Exactly. So. If I were to count everyone in town, how many do you think there would be? You know, there's about 3,000 or so. I know our sign out there says 300, but we've just never bothered changing it. That that was it taken back in the 50s. Really? 3,000? Yeah, yeah, we've grown since then. You know, families, they have their children. Uh, and it's Halloween, too, so I'm sure you'll really enjoy the festivities tonight. Are there? What kind of festivities are there? Trick-or-treating. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we are you going to take your kids out trick or treating? I don't got no kids of my own. Lord never blessed me. Never had a wife either. But I'm sure that uh, you know you can put together a costume and go door to door. We don't mind the adults doing the trick or treating here either. Is that common? No, can't really say it is. But I'm sure they'd give you candy. I think I'm good. Uh, yeah. If you're sure, if you're sure, Halloween's a great time of year. Favorite holiday. Oh. Do, um... And the sheriff just says, Yep. People often go missing, go hunting for Halloween? Is that something a lot of people do? Not really. This is pretty new. Yeah, I mean, no no more than normal hunting trips. There's a lot of people hunting right now. Oh, great. Okay. Wow. Like a a pheasant or something. Yep, that's delicious. I've had it. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was both. <laughs> and the sheriff both reaches Anna up and, and he's like wiping tears from his eyes. Wait, why is he wiping tears? Allergies. Oh, okay. Just got the allergies real bad. Mm. Okay, well. A lot of stuff's in bloom right now, huh? In October, yeah. early November. Yeah. Yep. Michigan this state. <laughs> and he wipes, he wipes his eyes again. Um. Okay. Well, we don't want to keep you. Um. 
but we'll, we'll let you know if, if we happen upon anything that might be helpful, you know, while we're writing our story. Yeah, just go ahead and let me know if there's anything we can do to help. The mayor of Pelosi Creek is here to help you. Pelosi Th- Creek. You know, I am an independent artist. I'm trying to sell a painting that I just made. I was wondering if you'd be interested in buying it. Oh, I've never been much for the arts. The good Lord doesn't like the arts. It's a way to sin. Uh Uh-huh. Just like dancing and really expressing any emotion other than good Lord happiness. Yep. Sure, yeah. This is the day the Lord has made. Today, yep. Uh Uh-huh. Um, what day of the week is it? Wednesday. Okay. Um, are there any... Do do you guys have church services uh, any day of the week other than Sunday? Well, not since the pastor died about two years ago, but, you know, we just... We keep the Lord in our hearts and read the Bible. Okay. And and you really haven't happened across the wedding in Cana... When Jesus turned water into wine. Nope. Okay. Never heard of it. Have you heard of a sheriff? Nope. Uh, okay, that's um, cool, 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 cool. Um, what books do you like to read? Do I'm you? Most, I mostly just read the Bible, and uh, every you so haven't. often I'll have to flip through the old book of law there just so... You know, I can help with a case for the uh, judge and everything that's coming up, giving him some advice. There's a case coming up. No, no, not right now. We don't really have much crime out here. Um, no. You'd have to report a crime for there to be a crime. I mean, Sheriff, has there been a lot of crime out here? Nope. He wipes his eyes again. You okay, bud? Just the allergies. Um, I've... At the hotel, I've got this great allergy spray. If I could bring it by your house, um, no thanks. It'd help, you know. I'd love to. No thanks. If you want to come over, we could share a meal, you know. Harlan, uh, just we won't keep any more of your time here. But if there's anything we can help you with, please just feel free to let me know. Okay. Now don't forget, Mayor Harlan's here for you. It's my election slogan. First election's coming up soon. Oh, well, you know, if we lived here, you might have my vote, but uh, I'll put in a good word for you with anyone I talk to. Sounds good. It was nice meeting you, folks. What are your names? Oh, uh, I am Beatrix. I almost want to say Beatrix Potter. I am Be- I am Beatrix Carnahan. Um, my name is Alan. Just Alan? Yep. Well, just Alan, it was nice meeting you and you too there, Beatrix. Oh, I go by Trixie, but thanks. <laughs> sure thing, Beatrix. Goodbye, Ruth. And from the back, uh, the lady who's been helping you, just see you, Mr. Mayor. And uh, the sheriff and Harlan leave the diner. That was weird, right? Something's going on. Yeah, obviously. I don't, like, we need to, maybe they have, you know, Bibles back at the hotel. You know how they typically have those in bedside tables? I want to take a look at that because I don't know what kind of Bible they're reading. Yeah. I mean, it's it just seems a little bizarre. This seems like some sort of God-fearing town, yet their pastor died two years ago and they haven't got a new one. It seems sort of like cornerstone. I mean, they don't even have alcohol. I say as I reach into my purse and pull out a flask (laughs) and I pour some into my coffee. I thought they'd never leave. And I take a large (coughs) glug of my alcohol coffee. And I push my coffee cup a little bit towards you. Get your own. And I (laughs) screw the top back on and stick it in my purse. (laughs) This is going to have to last me. Like we we gotta t- we gotta take care of this story fast because this is not gonna last me that long. Well, you better get comfortable because I don't know. This sounds like a huge story. Like, what is the what is the one explanation for why the mayor would know about the lights but no one else does? 
I have, I have literally no idea. I mean, are you sure they, they're just not keeping quiet about it? But why would they keep quiet about it when he was so forthright with it? Forthcoming. With it's it. like that verse about the wine in the Bible. Are they called verses? I don't know. They see what they want to see and they don't see what they want, what they don't want to see. I don't know what you're talking and about. That they don't want to see that verse in the Bible, so they're ignoring it. They oh. don't want to see the light, so they ignore it. Someone's oh. making them see what they are seeing, and I think it's Mr. Mayor. It's got to be, right? Like, he he's the only one. No one else knows. I think... 3,000 people? Nah. Everyone's spitting lies like crazy. The sh- I think... Maybe we should find out. I think the best way to find out more about this mayor might be to talk to his, the the person he's running against. He said there's an election coming up soon. I wonder who his competition is. Maybe. I don't, yeah. The other thing is, does this, this cop is sad. I think it's maybe his family's gone missing. Maybe it looks like he might break if we go talk to him alone. Yeah, I suppose he was pretty quiet and he kept rubbing his eyes. He was crying. And everything is dead. I don't know what sort of allergies he could possibly be having. It's, it's total crap. All right, well, I, I guess. Yeah, Ruth brings out your uh, steak with no eggs and you have a quiet meal talking. And as you finish up, uh, what would you like to do? Um, the steak is subpar. Yeah, is it? As like, I expected. It is well done. <laughs> okay. Is. Some great meaty rubber. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, Ruth. Um, yeah, what is it there, honey? I think I found these keys. I want to pull out my own keys. And I'm like, I think they belong to the sheriff. I'd like to return them home to him. Do you know where he lives? I don't know. Well, yeah, I know where he lives, but he should just be down at the sheriff's station right now. Okay. Weird for uh, Sheriff Dunhill to forget his keys, but (laughs) he has been under a lot of stress lately with all them disappearances. He didn't seem that stressed. Can you tell me more about that? He looks real stressed out to me. Okay. Um, Does he have a family or? You know, I've never asked. He's always been. I think he's always been single. He seemed like a, he seems like a kind of emotional guy. Does that sound like an accurate assessment? He looked pretty stony and silent today, just like normal. Our silent rock, our good defender. <laughs> just like all of the biblical, like, <laughs> nods. <laughs> our, our solid rock. Okay, well, um, can you point us to is the this station? First Peter? Yeah, she points right across the street. There it is right there. Okay. Sheriff's office. Can't miss it. Thank you so much. Evan. Right. Is Dunhill's first name Peter? Peter means rock. Oh, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Evan just had this uh, pastor at church growing up. Priest and Catholic. What? What? It's priest when you're Catholic. Priest, whatever, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, and he, he, like, was this old guy, and he would, like, tell the same sermon every day. Like every Sunday, and it was That's just, just how I remember it. It wasn't every day. It yeah, just felt like it, all it the just time. Felt like, it's like, well, Peter means rock, and we need to be a rock for Jesus or something. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. So, um, want to pay the bill and leave a modest tip on okay. the table, and then. Oh, I thank you. You didn't need to leave such a wonderful tip there, but I thank you kindly. I didn't leave a tip. <laughs> of course, uh, and the, the coffee was excellent, and I, like, pour the last of my alcoholic coffee into my down my gullet, <laughs> and then uh, I want to just head for the door and go outside. Okay. As you step outside, um, there's a phone pole directly, a telephone pole directly to your left, um, and as you look at it, you don't know how you missed this before, but it is covered in missing person signs. Okay. Hey, take a look at this. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Is there, um... It's about a dozen people. It's kind of... 
Are there any like names that I recognize? Do I see like Robertson or like? No, there are a lot of names though, and they're all different. None of them were hotel guests that uh, she saw on the ledger. Not that you saw. Okay. All right. I want to take out my um, notepad yep. and just start writing down all the names that I see. Yeah, it's a wide variety of names and a wide variety of ages from the pictures you're able to see. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, when I... All right, well, I wrote these down. I guess we can see if we can figure anything out about these people later. Um. Do you want to go talk to the sheriff? Any of the last names sound familiar from anyone we met in town today? That's what I just asked. Um. There's some for the Robertsons oh. that are up there. And... Sorry, I okay. might have just not heard you correctly. Um, but the vast majority of them aren't familiar. Okay. And as you're continuing looking, you see that for every two businesses that are open on the street, one of them is closed. Okay. Are the, are the lights shining now in the sky? Uh, not yet. It's just about dusk. Okay. And what would you like to do? Well, I think we should go talk to the sheriff. That's mm-hmm. what you're saying. Maybe talk to him on his own. Yeah. We, we were like across the street, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I want to head over to the... Are there any sheriff. people... I guess it's not dark yet. They wouldn't be trick-or-treating. There are some children in costumes going along, and roll a spot hidden for me. Hail <laughs> Mary. Nope. 74. Oh, me too? Yeah. It's a 68. Oh, it should be fine. My spot hidden's like... Just the normal number? Yep. Was it an 85? So yeah, I make it. Yeah, so in a group of children in costumes, they're all just kind of going down the street with uh, little pillowcases or uh, trick-or-treat Uh, baskets and stuff but one of them is wearing a blank mask and they're just staring at you as they walk by I like nudge uh Ronnie dude (laughs) oh god a disgusting habit do you see that guy it's a little child (laughs) well do you see that guy (laughs) do you see that kid Look at his mask. Yeah, and as you start to point it out, a truck pulls in front of you, and the window rolls down, um, and you see a man about middle age. He, he's he got kind of disheveled hair, and he looks at you two with a sense of hope. You two are new here in town, aren't you? Uh, yeah? Hi there, my name's Dr. Nelson Jane. Uh, I run the clinic just the next street over. You two are normal, right? You. I mean, I'd like to think yeah. I am. My partner here is a little bizarre, but... I think I'm look, extra normal. I'm look, more than I'm, I'm enlightened. I'm, I'm a little desperate, but if you're willing, I could really use your help. Okay. Uh, with what? You, you've seen the disappearances, right? Uh, yeah. I mean... You're aware of them. We know yeah, of them. Yeah, I, um, I gesture to the telephone pole. Like. Yeah, yeah, that's everywhere. There's a lot of people who have gone missing, and I just, I don't have anyone else to turn to. Uh, come on down to the clinic. I think we could really help each other. Okay, Mr. It was Dr. Nelson. Nelson Jane. Jane. What kind of energy do I get from this guy? Like, uh, role psychology. No. <laughs> He seems like a doctor who... You're not very familiar with doctors, because I can't imagine you trust them. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, sure, yeah. Well, I mean, if you've got... If you've got any information that'll help us with this, I think I think this is the real story here. You know, these lights... The brainwash? Seem cool, but... Okay, well, I'm not going to go that far, but... Yeah, these disappearances are definitely are going to make a great story. We will help you if you can help us. Um, so I assume he like points to where the clinic is and we can just. Yes, it's just the next street over. There's no way you can miss it. Uh, meet me later there tonight. OK, what time? Just after dark. OK, sure. Uh, 
yeah, we'll see you there. Sounds good. And he drives off, and that's where we're going to end this episode. Hey there, folks. This is Brendan just coming in to say now that both of our uh, campaigns have come out on the podcast, just let you know a little bit about the schedule that we're going to try and keep. Um, We're going to be releasing, switching off every Friday going forth. uh, First D&D, then Call of Cthulhu, then D&D, so on and so forth. Um, We're going to try to keep that schedule fairly normal, um, excluding holidays and uh, real life you know, just real life popping up, but that's what you can expect going forward. Our our next episode that's going to be coming out is episode two of our Dungeons and Dragons campaign, followed after that by more of this wonderfulness that is Call of Cthulhu. We hope you enjoy and thank you for listening. Uh, If you like us, give us a, you know, go down and give us a rating, Uh, maybe leave a little review. That's how podcasts like this survive. If you give us a review, you have our eternal support. We'll see you next time on We Never Learned the Rules.